Hey everyone, how are you? Welcome to Karma Light Readings. I'm Alexandra. This is a October 2020 check-in for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe, click like, share, comment, all of that fun stuff. Um, and also, if you're new, let me just give you a quick little rundown. Um, my name is Alexandra, and how my readings are designed are to help you connect with your inner light and focus on healing your relationship with your creator, God, the divine, the universe, source, um, and also helping you to become in alignment with your true soul journey and path. Um, in doing so, I will be looking at a particular connection and or situation that is currently happening within your uh, energetic aura. And my goal is to help you become aware or awakened to certain soul cycles, patterns, and healing that you may be noticing or going through uh, through this connection, okay? So with that being said, please keep in mind this is a general reading, okay, for a very large collective. So it is very common for you to resonate with some of what I say and, and maybe not all of it, or you may not resonate with anything, or maybe you resonate with every single thing I say. Um, either way, if you find yourself wanting a personal, more in-depth reading that is, is situated particularly to your connection and what you're going through, uh, please check the link below in the description box for my website and take a look at the readings that I offer. I will be using three different decks today as I say my prayers. I do shuffle through each deck individually. If I pause, it's because I'm placing my intentions on the cards. So let's go ahead and get started. Mother, Father, God, Holy Spirit, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to their current life situation and love connection in October 2020. I ask that these messages provide guidance, clarity, healing, and understanding as well as a higher perspective of knowledge on what soul cycles, soul healing, and patterns they may currently be going through, learning from, need to be aware of, heal from, and let go of through this connection. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, and all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, my loves, let's see what we have. Holy Spirit, what is the overall spiritual message of guidance in regards to Sagittarius current life situation and love connection? Overall messages of spiritual guidance, October 2020, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, let's take a look. You have Matthew eleven twenty eight. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. On the back it says, walk boldly and wisely. There is a hand above that will help you on. Okay. And on the bottom you have, may you be strengthened with all power according to his glorious might. And the stars may fall, but God's promises will stand and be fulfilled, if you can see that. All right. So I feel, I feel like right now, Sagittarius, you guys are in a situation or an aspect of your life. You are dealing with something that feels um, very heavy, feels like a burden. Um, you're having difficulty kind of weeding your way through this, this situation. I feel that you've put a lot of work and effort towards something and you're just kind of wondering when is all my hard work going to pay off, okay? Um, and I also feel like you guys may have been let down recently. Something may have fallen through, okay, in your life. Now, this doesn't have to specifically be the, about the love connection, okay? These general uh, spiritual messages here are just overall messages of, of spiritual guidance for you at this time. 
So I do feel like you may have experienced a setback or what you perceived to be a loss, something that was disappointing, okay? But spirit is wanting you to understand that anything that is falling away or isn't working out the way that you had hoped, um, there's a, a bigger reason for that. There's a reason that you're unaware of on the other side. Things are falling away and things are shifting and changing because God is putting you in alignment and on the path to the true promises and purpose of what it is you want, to what you've been praying for, to what you've been working for. And in order to get you there, you may need to leave uh, certain situations, people, places, or things behind, okay? Um, but Spirit is telling you to have faith and trust in knowing that your prayers are being heard, to stand up straight and walk with that faith that you your prayers are heard, they will be answered, um, and that He is helping you, okay? So let's take a look real quick. Holy Spirit, what is the romantic energy surrounding Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, October 2020? Okay, let's see what we've got here. Romantic energy surrounding you guys. On the bottom of the deck, overall energy surrounding you is playfulness. It says, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Um, you may be all serious, okay, um, and really trying to get down to business lately. Maybe you're, you're just too focused on a particular plan um, or just being an adult. And spirit is telling you that you need to loosen up a little bit. Allow yourself to enjoy life. Allow yourself to connect with the vibration, the frequency of fun, laughter, and joy, okay? That will help loosen up some knots and some blockages that are happening <clears throat> within your uh, current path right now. You have very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now and last you have it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all okay so i feel <clears throat> i feel like this is going to be a very particular message okay so let me just make sure that i say the right thing here for some of you either subconsciously or consciously, you are carrying this heavy burden, okay, this situation that occurred to you in the past between you and someone else that I am seeing you are not currently with and haven't been with them for, for maybe some time, okay? Um, whether you are aware or not, what happened to you and your experiences and your perception of that particular situation with this ex-person is affecting your current life situation and, and love relationships. It is creating um, uh, blockages, unable to move past certain things. For some of you, this may be um, a divorce that needs to be finalized, like really finalizing and ending that particular cycle of your life so that you can move forward onto a new journey. Um, so it's very important right now, Spirit is saying, for you to clear, clearly, forgive me, decide what it is you want uh, not only out of your relationships, but out of your life in general. Have a, a very distinct vision and path for you to communicate with God. Of course, it's never going to turn out exactly how we envision it, but having a clear direction um, kind of helps us while God is steering our path and, and putting us into alignment. Very important that you work through any issues that you have with your ex and release that energy, okay? Um, it's time for you to clear that past and move into something new. What happened in the past no longer exists. It's done and it's over. Um, all you have is the moment right now. So very important for you to ground yourself and center yourself. I feel that a lot of you are very focused on your finances right now. Um, maybe trying to decide what it is you really want to do. What is your life's purpose? What is your work? Um, what are you going to be giving to the world? And what are you going to be receiving? So a lot of you are in this energy of planning out your future career, your job, what you want to do with your life, as well as money. I feel some of you are saving up, getting ready to either make a big purchase, car or home, okay? Or you're going through some type of change where your money is shifting. So as much as you want to be focused on your love life, there's also this hindering um, 
energy coming around uh, regarding your finances and you just want to make sure that everything is in order okay and then lastly you have it is safe for you to love I feel that this goes in with the playfulness card because it says open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Like I said, there's some blockages here and this is due to past experiences and situations which are causing you to see current events, current situations, current connections, um, very wonky because you're seeing them from past experiences and you're not seeing these situations for what they truly are right now because you're carrying such a heavy burden um, from what has happened in the past. So that's why spirit is is telling you to, to give all of this uh, worry and cares and, and heavy burden and labor to God um, and understand that things may look like they're falling apart, but it's because they're actually coming together for you, okay? So try not to be so serious. Try to open up your heart. Be receptive to the energy that's coming in. Don't doubt everything that somebody tells you, okay? All right, let's see what we have here. Holy Spirit, what messages of guidance, clarity, healing, and understanding do you have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? A current love connection life situation October 2020 all right let's see what we've got here my dears overall energy okay overall surrounding this whole connection three of wands so you're in a waiting stage, a patient stage, planning, okay? Um, you have an idea of where you wanna go and you have an idea of what it is that you want out of this connection and for your life. But right now, you're just patiently waiting. You're waiting for messages to come in. You're waiting for an opportunity to come in. I think that what you're really waiting for is more clarity, okay, and being sure before you take a leap of faith or, or go in a certain direction. Okay, interesting. So I have some air energy here. You could be dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. I also have Virgo energy. So the current situation between you and this person is the king of swords, okay? Um, the need for clarity and truth to be spoken. Um, I feel like somebody is setting some rules and some boundaries and they're really speaking their mind here um, regarding this connection. Some The energy here is like, don't play with me. You may be coming off as very hard to get close to, either this is you or the other person. So let's look into that Holy Spirit. Why is the King of Swords here as a current energy for Sagittarius? Current love connection, King of Swords, clarity, please. What is it in regards? Page of Pentacles. Yeah, regarding an offer. Okay, Page of Pentacles. So something is shifting between the two of you. There may have been an ending between you and this person or some type of disagreement or misunderstanding, okay? And there's been some type of new information that's come to light. An offer, an apology, okay, clarity, truth, as we were talking about. But it's still just like a little bit. I feel like you guys are wanting more or needing more. Um, you're wanting a cycle to end in your life so that you can begin something new. But again, I'm getting this energy of somebody being very rigid, very firm, um, very stuck in their ways like they're not going to be moved or budged from what they believe in what they want what their views are this is how they see it okay but somebody is trying to break that ice as well with the page of pentacles but i don't think it's going over very well um your current feeling sag towards this connection and this person is a five of wands i feel that you're dealing with a lot of inner conflict okay within yourself you're just not quite sure how to move forward. You don't know what is the right decision or choice to make. Um, I feel that you're kind of beating yourself up or for how things could have been or should have gone. There may be some type of competition here, but I feel like you guys just get into really petty disagreements and arguments and you don't, that's not what you're looking for. You want something that's more calm and peaceful. And I feel like you felt like you always had to like battle this person just to talk to them about your day. 
Holy Spirit, why is the Five of Wands here? For how Sag is feeling. Five of Wands, clarity, please. The Magician, ooh, with the Six of Cups. You're trying to manifest something. You're trying to create a new beginning, okay? In a particular connection. This is with somebody that you spend a lot of time thinking about. I have the Six of Cups on the bottom. You feel like this person is your person. And you are realizing that there are some things that you want to express or get across. And you're trying to weed through the doubts to be able to secure and manifest this new beginning to make it happen, okay? The other person's energy is the hermit. They may not be communicating at all with you, okay? There may be a current separation between the two of you. They may be very isolated. I feel that this person is going through a deep process of healing. Holy Spirit, please clarify the hermit for the other person, for Sagittarius. King of Cups, yeah. They're very in their emotions, okay? Their emotions are hidden right now. They're not showing them to you. You're unaware um, of how they feel. I feel that they are looking within themselves and trying to understand their emotions, trying to gain control over their emotions or their reactions to a particular situation. They usually, um, I don't feel that this person has ever really fully opened up and been vulnerable with you. They're feeling very lost in uh, their emotions of what happened, okay? And the reason why I say that is the issue between the two of you here is the Seven of Swords. So something happened between the two of you that left one of you feeling lied to, okay, manipulated, sorry if that's too dark, or that something sneaky was going on. And that's what's causing uh, the confusion I feel that's what's causing a rift between your your communication because there's like a lack of trust now somebody felt a vibe that just wasn't vibing with them Holy Spirit why is the seven of swords here for the issue what is the seven of swords in regards to seven of swords yeah this person feels like nine of swords very nervous three of cups so this person feels like um maybe there was a third party remember a third party doesn't have to be a person or cheating but there was something else that that had someone's attention here and it may have looked like they were doing something wrong or you were doing something wrong it's caused a lot of anxiety fear and worry okay for a party for either you or the other person because remember this is the overall issue um, I am seeing air energy, so I'm assuming this is the other person. I'm getting the energy that this particular energy, I'm sorry, this particular person, whether it's you or the other one, was like constantly accusing someone of cheating even though they weren't. It was like continuous, continuous. They just always believed um, what they wanted to believe. They were unable to see something clearly. However, there still could have been something hidden, um, something unknown. I'm getting the energy that one person is more of a homebody and more stable and the other person um well they are stable as well they, they like to go out they like to be around friends they like to keep company okay they like to indulge in, in in partying and things like that nothing wrong with that i feel that just there was an energy here of somebody who just kind of wanted to stay home and have a you know a, a firm steady family life and the other person wanted to go out the outcome between you guys is the four of wands. So there is this energy of building something stable, celebratory, marriage, engagement, um, moving in with each other. This is happiness. So this is finding a way to balance out what happened between the two of you and making it work and creating a stable uh, environment. Holy Spirit, why is the four of wands here for the outcome? Please clarify what this means for Sagittarius and their, their person. Four of Wands, please. There we go. Four of Cups. Ah, and the Eight of Cups on the bottom. Okay, so there's this offer. There's a potential here between the two of you to have a very stable connection with a lot of happiness. But for some reason, and it could be this other person here, 
somebody's very, very focused on the past and they're unable to see the gift that is in front of them right now. They're unable to see the future and where this could lead to because all they're, all they're focusing on is what happened, what went wrong. And they're bringing that past into a present moment where it does not need to be, okay? Um, this particular person, if it is the other one, because that's the position I have it in, there's a lot of regret and sadness within this energy, but they really are going through a deep emotional healing and awakening, okay? So there is a need, like I said, for patience. That's why we have the three of wands as the overall energy. You're in this waiting energy, waiting for them to get through this process, waiting for them to see the light, waiting for them to release what they need to release so that they can come forward. Um, I do see them coming back here with the eight of, uh, eight of cups. This lets me know that there was a, a separation between the two of you, but they're wanting to make their way back after a period of healing. Yeah, six of cups here on the top as well. They want to be with you. This is something that they want to work on. They're reminiscing a lot and they're hoping for a reconciliation. I do feel like it's just going to take some time uh, because this person needs to work through some, some issues here. All right, Sagittarius, that is your October check-in. I hope you guys are doing well and I look forward to hearing from you. Bye.